gives a little seat that the uh, crew would sit on when they were riding along. They would probably be a conductor and a, a brakeman. Or a, a picture show two or three people actually operating these. I don't know whether they had a stool for the motorman or not. Oh yeah, back to the headlight. This is the plug that goes in the socket. Here's one. This is the socket for the number two end, or number one end rather. Like that, and then this there's the wire connection right there. Now let's see what else have we not talked about. Lights? Oh yes. Sign? There's one circuit of lights for the car, five of them in series. Each one at 120 volts, which you multiply by five, gives you the 600 volts for the uh, power that's actually in the line. So when one of these lights goes off, they all go off, just like the old Christmas tree lights. And uh, there's no significance to the red bulb. We just stuck that in there because that happened to be one we had of that color. Uh, the roof itself, as we said, is a tongue and grove, about three quarters of an inch thick. Uh, this is gray. I don't, I, I don't know why, but I'm beginning to suspect as I look at it that that white was something that we put on because you look over here, the gray appears to be more of the original color, which is probably what uh, the York Utilities put on it. Maybe it was left varnished when the car was first built. Quite often a lot of stuff was varnished on the outside, but that didn't last very long because it was a high maintenance finish. Uh, there's a patch here which is obviously not original and I don't know what the reason for that was. Sometimes they had accidents and there were holes punched in the roof. The red uh, may or may not be the original color. On the uh, window sash there are lifts. Some of the sash lifts are here. Uh, they would have a little bit of uh, a small lift here with a, a tab of leather so you could lift it up, pull it in, and then drop them down into the sides. And we've got to clean all those tracks out as we replace the the window sash. Uh, yeah, there's one that still works. The motorman, when he's running, would have to look out the side, so this was a very critical one, as would have been the one on the other side. Alright, I think that's all. This goes all the way across. It's bent uh, elm, and it's made of wood, but every other one has a steel reinforcement. It's what's called, a, these are called car lines, C -I, or car line, C -A -R -L -I -N, or C-A-R-L-I-N-E. And uh, you needed to have more than just the wood there. They would tend to sag. So they bolted steel to that, and that's what's called a compound car line, uh, steel and wood. And uh, they look to be in pretty good shape. One of them here was patched by somebody along the way. And I'm not sure whether we'll replace it or what. I see some splits and so forth there. Uh, we'll find out when we when we get into it.